Well, this is the first time I put my uh, quick jack system under the truck. And as you can see, it just did a great job getting it way up there off of the pavement where I can slide under it and uh, hopefully install a heat shield for my starter. Okay, you can see here's our problem. Here's our starter. There's that top bolt I was talking about that I can mount my heat shield to. And you see how close it is to this exhaust manifold running right alongside the starter. If we could just fix up a heat shield to fasten up there and pass between the exhaust manifold and the starter, I think we can deflect a lot of heat away from that starter. So we're going to start with about uh, a 10 inch by 15 inch piece of flashing. This is very thin metal. I don't want to use a heavy metal, a thick metal that's going to turn into a heat sink. I want a thin piece of flashing like this that will deflect the heat. Okay, so our first sizing under the truck looked like we were about four inches too long. So we're going to uh, use our metal shears here to cut off about four inches off the end of it. Okay, I'd say we got our sizing just about right here. We can uh, fit this piece up in here and get it to the point that it's not touching the starter so it doesn't conduct heat into the starter. And if we get it to where it's, it's uh, not touching the exhaust manifold and not touching the starter, then it ought to uh, just radiate that heat from the exhaust manifold away from the starter. Okay, so what we're working with now is a piece of flashing that's 11 inches long and 10 inches wide. So what we've done here is drilled a 13 30 seconds hole in the outer end of the tab. And then we've uh, cut a strip off 3 inches deep where we're going to bend it back. And we're just going to use a set of uh, metal shear scissors there to cut off these little loose ends here so that we can bend that tab over. Well, we wound up requiring a little more substantial pair of uh, tin snips to get those ends cut off. Well, fellas, it's getting a little dark here, but maybe we still have enough light to see. It's We're all installed. Where I cut that three-inch tab in, uh, I only had to use about half of that to bend it over to get to the bolt on the top of the uh, starter. And then the bottom of this heat shield is resting on top of this uh, portion of the frame that holds this crossbar. So that's not going to fall down and go any place. And it's got good coverage between the exhaust manifold and the starter on this side all the way up for the uh, length of the starter. So I think that 11 by 10 inch was about the, uh, the right size. And uh, it's in there nice and tight with that top bolt securing it. So we'll just see if that radiates the heat away from our starter and uh, gets rid of our uh, starter heating problem when we're towing the camper trailer. Oh wow, sunset. <laughs> I've been working on this project all afternoon, but uh, I believe we got it done. So it's time to take the truck down off of the lift and uh, head home for a little dinner. Hey, by the way, I just wanted to say that after working under the truck all afternoon uh, with this uh, Ranger lift, I, I felt perfectly safe. I did, just as a safety measure, install those uh, uh, jack stands just in case anything let loose. But the way these things are constructed, they've got this safety bar right here that's locked in so that if you did lose hydraulic pressure, uh, it ought to lock up in place anyway. <clears throat> then you'd have fun trying to get the truck down. But uh, uh, it worked great, and uh, like I say, I, I felt perfectly safe being under the truck.
All right, the poor man's lift going down. Uh-oh. <laughs> the uh, what happened was the safety catch on this side uh, ratcheted down and uh, caught in the uh, safety uh, catch there. So I just need to take it back up a little bit and then move this up out of the way so it won't hit that catch. I need to tighten up the friction on that retaining nut a little bit. And now let's see if we can get it to go all the way down. And there you go. <laughs> Hey, one last thing I wanted to say this is about the Ranger lift. With these uh, flush face uh, hydraulic line connectors, if you get any pressure in the line, it can be a real bear to connect them or disconnect them. And the answer to that problem is this little gizmo right here, uh, this uh, Irwin Quick Grip uh, X1300M. Uh, it just works great. You put the uh, two ends of your connectors in there and squeeze the uh, <clears throat> the handle together and it compresses them, uh, makes it as easy as it can be to connect or disconnect those hydraulic fittings. All right, here we are on the 20th of November, 2023. We're going to do our starter overheat uh, heat shield check today. We're going to drag our camper over the uh, eastern continental divide into uh, Tennessee on our way back to Missouri for Thanksgiving and this ought to be a good test of our heat shield. Okay so here's our starter heat shield test. We're just west of uh, Asheville. We've been running about two and a half hours at uh, highway speeds up and down some pretty steep hills so the engine has worked hard and uh, we just refilled with gas so we spent about uh, eight minutes here checking the lug nuts uh, torque and uh, refilling the truck with gas so now let's see if it'll start wow <laughs> cranked up with no problem at all so i think our heat shield is working Okay, so it's been uh, an hour and a half since the last picture there, the last video, when we stopped for gas. So we just stopped at a rest station, and uh, we've just come out of uh, the mountains here on I-40. We're still a little bit east of Knoxville, and we're going to try our starter again. There it is. So our heat shield seems to be working good. <laughs> 